Welcome back, guys, to another Modern Cube draft. Uh, Mike is getting a milkshake right now. He'll be back momentarily, I presume. So uh, what are we taking here? Probably mind control. Do I like mind control more than I should? Maybe. There's a lot of, like, bounce effects or destroy enchantment effects. Also leaning towards cultivate, to be quite honest. Or chromatic lantern. I think it's I think it's either cultivate chromatic lantern or mind control. Juicy Jimbo, two months in a row. Thank you so much. I'm drunk, so I'm subbing again. I accept. I accept your drunk sub. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. You are awesome, dude. Is there any sort of harmless offering in this cube? No. I think it's Lantern. I think Lantern's probably the safest pick. It lets us play everything. And also, this pack is pretty mediocre, so we can feel good about just taking a Scalding Tarn here. I like Harmonize a lot. But that's pretty much the only thing I'd take. But I think, like, it's a, it's a blue cube, so we can just take blue cards that do that. I'm just going to take Scalding Tarn here, and we're going to go deep on these, on these fixings. Flooded Strand. We're doing it. We are doing it. I also like Clever Impersonator a lot just because it can copy uh, Planeswalkers. If it's a blue cube, don't you want to get anti-blue? Um, I don't think I ever want to be anti-blue in Magic. I'm going to take Flooded Strand, I think. Maybe we do do the land stip... I always like doing the land stipulation, but I don't like forcing myself to take every land because that's not... That's not fun. That's too much restriction. Some restriction... Having some restrictions, that breeds creativity. Having too many restrictions, that breeds misery, I think. I think... I mean, blue and black are two of my favorite colors, so... I mean, ideally, in a perfect world, the Gristle Brand comes back, right? Do we just take more lands and just fix everything? Or do we take the Maelstrom Pulse? I like Pulse a lot here. That's the kind of card you want to be, want to be splashing for, so... Is it just Cutie Tri Builder? Cutie Snake? I like Disallow a lot. I guess it's Sakura Tri Builder. So, in your videos, I've seen you come around on fetches and fixing. And yeah, because you guys actually give me a, a ton of a ton of hard time. It might just be Lava Claw reaches here. Uh, I'm taking this law. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Geist of Saint Draft, maybe. I like Geist here, but it's kind of weird. Connor Ryan, <laughs> it might be time for you to go to bed, buddy. All right, I'm going to take the Geist. I don't know if that's correct. I like uh, Sacred Foundry I like a lot, actually. Uh, yeah, because we can get Sacred Foundry with both of these lands. And we're already a white, so... I like Oracle. I think Oracle is the best card in this pack. But I'm going to take Sacred Foundry. Chugrin, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Mindstab Thrall. That is awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Uh, I like Explore here. Explore is probably the best card in this pack for what we're playing. And we're not going to play Descended Mindbender. We're not going to play Hypnotic Spectre. Eternal Witness, I guess. 
There's definitely a lot of Planeswalkers in this format. You are not wrong. Yeah, I think it's Eternal Witness here. I think we're mainly green-blue and splashing this white card. Or we could just take Azor's Gateway. Flooded Grove seems good. Yeah, we're just gonna take the grove here. Cause we have we also have we have a bunch of green and uh blue cards, so David Grove. Uh, Spellskite might be really good. I actually think Spellskite's pretty underrated in this cube. Skulker? Sure. I don't think either of these cards are any good. We'll just take Iron Shaman. And Chandra's Phoenix, sure. There's definitely not a lot of uh, green answers for flyers. That is 1,000% true. Rattleclaw Mystic, Noble Hierarch, Watery Grave. I think Body Double is definitely worse than Vizier and uh, and Phantasm Image, 1,000%. I like Noble Hierarch, but I don't, I don't like the odds of us having a green on turn one. Infernal Titan's pretty good, though. I would take Essence Scatter over Supreme Will, I think. Just because I want more two drops. I would rather take Rattleclaw than Noble Hierarch. But I might just take Watery Grave over both, which can get searched with a Flooded Strand and a Scalding Tarn. All right, we'll take we'll take Inferno Titan. I think we can have we'll have chances to get other lands. I kind of want Chupacabra, but it's double black, so I think it's actually Karanos here. I'm not a big fan of the Copter, actually, especially in a deck like this. We're probably not going to have that many creatures. I think it's actually Karanos. Creeping Jace Friend's Prodigy. It's pretty good. I actually like Jace a lot here. You missed the first pack and a few picks in the second pack, but okay, we're not terrible so far. Like your deck is not terrible. You're, yeah, I guess that's what I meant. Stomping ground can be searched by a scalding tarn. I do like a Colagon's command though. Coca Colagon's command. Gross. Also like stomping ground because it lets us play explore a little easier. I think it's actually stomping ground. So we're playing five color shenanigans. We are playing five color shenanigans. That is correct. Is this a step? None. Did you say, what's the step, or is there a step? Is there. No. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. That is a beautiful chicken, but I think we're taking the stomping ground. What's the point of having all these fetch lands if we can't actually fetch our lands? 
I wonder if it's Sword of Fire and Ice here. Is Sarkon Dragon Speaker any good? It's pretty fast clock. Break back clock. Teamer shenanigans. We got a white card and a black card here, though. It is pretty teamer, though, so far. What is your milkshake flavor? Just chocolate? It's nope. mocha. This is chocolate cookies and cream. Wow. Wow. There is no stipulation. We are just drafting fun cards. I'm going to take this Sarkon. I like being able to ramp into it. Ooh, I like a Blood Crypt. And I like it when there's a Blood Crypt in a pack that doesn't have very good things in it. No, this card's terrible. You're terrible. Messed up, man. What? Can't believe you said that to me. I can't believe you're terrible. What are you going to do? Tooth and Cry. nail? What? Cry. All right. I hope you do. I hope you cry. Uh, Sylvan Advocate. Heart Blues and Forest. Forest seems okay. That's like Olivia. I don't think we're going to have enough black mana to really activate or shoot enough. Olivia's pretty slow as well. I like tooth and nail. You like the only tooth and nail? No, yeah, I don't. Well, we took it. So get wrecked. Oh. Well, that's weird. Why's that weird? We got Inferno Titan and Karanos. Isn't that what else do you need? Better creatures. I'm going to take Flame. Eh, it could just be Shivan Reef here. Let's put these like a million lands in the sideboard for now. 12 cards. Yeah, we'll just take Shivan Reef. It's two of our main colors. Oh, the Ral Zarek came back. So did an Essence Scatter. Essence Scatter seems... So did the Supreme Will. Everything in this pack is good. What do you think? I like Essence Scatter over... Supreme That's what I said. I said that earlier, too. I like hard counters over soft counters. Every day. I think it's just Will. I don't even care about Ralph Zarek, really. No, he's just kind of meh. Oh, Raging Green. <clears throat> also, Choop. Choops. Big Choop. We don't have black mana, though, is the problem. Like, we're lightly splashing black. It gets good if we have Chromatic Lantern, but... If we don't... Mana Werewolf? No, Tar Pit. Not excited. Yeah, I'll just take Tar Pit. Oh my god, I was really hoping this came back, actually. That's insane. That's such a late Coligon's command. I like Thunderbreak Regent. I don't know if I super care about Falcon Wrath Aristocrat, but... That card can win games pretty fast. I agree. Well, but all of these are, are playable. I don't know about that, Planeswalker. I'd rather play Arlen Court over Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. Really? Yeah, not you wouldn't. Not in this deck. Hmm. Grave Titan? Double black. Yeah, but it's it's later than it's six drop instead of a four drop. It it's is really good. It's also we can tooth and nail for it. True. We're not not in white. We have Sacred Foundry, Flooded Strand, Chromatic Lantern. Yeah, I think Grave Titan's good here. I can see taking out Geist, though. I like Grave Titan. <laughs> Hollowed Fountain. I think I'm a bigger fan of Rashmi than Mike is, but... Maybe we just take Temporal Mastery here. I like taking extra turns. Who doesn't? Some people don't. It's weird. I know, right? Corsair of Crufix, that's a good dude. Solid dude. I'm pretty sure Rashmi will come back, to be quite honest. I also like Vraska. Is it Vraska or Corsair? Ooh. Vraska's easier to cast. Vraska's easier to casca? Just cast. Also, being able to kill any permanent is pretty strong. Devoted Druid? Oh, I like Vizier of Many Faces a lot. 
It has a lot of faces. And it has double copy. I think it's Vizier. But our shenanigans... Oh my god. I don't think Vizier. That's a good card. Shieldred. That's duplicate. a tooth and nail target. I like duplicate. John, just so you know, I can never expect you to pay attention to me and you're probably better off if you don't. Why would you say that, Josh? Oh, are you talking about draft choices? Like, card choices? What did you say, duplicate? Yeah. Feel free to ignore me forever. Oh my god, what's going on? I'll never do that. That's so mean. I just like go for the throat here. I do like both of these, but like we have two six drops and two seven drops right now. I didn't actually see go for the throat. You should take that. Yeah, I like go for the throat here. I'm also okay with getting any of these three or a vizier with tooth and nail. So I think our tooth and nail targets are actually pretty good right now. Our mana base is also pretty good with nine lands. Burp, burp, burp. I like both of these. This is double black though, so I'm kind of I'm more reluctant for that one. Hmm. What did you do early is good. Like we don't actually have any white cards. Like we don't actually have a reason to play white here. We have Geist, so I don't really care about glacial. I think it's compulsive research. You you were you were going with that, right? Mm hmm Yeah, I agree with that. You guys like Nissa better? No. I don't hate Nissa, especially because we have Temporal Mastery, though. I like Nissa. I do like Nissa, actually. I took the Nissa. Get wrecked. Some crazy dog. You old, you old <laughs> sa sausage delivery man. You old s -s sausage delivery man. I hate you. Wow. I actually, I, I have, this Nissa has been growing on me. I like Staff of Nin. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to take Staff of Nin. Ronus is good, but we're definitely not a Ronus deck. Mm -mm. Hostage Taker could be very good. Yeah, it's a pick. I like Hostage Taker a lot, especially in a deck that can cast it. I'm going to take out Falcon Rather Aristocrat. I like Sheltered Thicket. Mmm. Well. We also have 23 cards here. I'm totally cutting on cord. Wow. Why are you the way that you are? Actually, Fertile Ground seems great. Overshriekma? Fertile Ground. Overshriekma? Um, we don't have that much removal. We have Maelstrom Pulse, Color Guns Command, Disallow, uh, Hostage Taker, Vraska, Sarkon, Go for the Throat Esk. We have a ton of removal. Yeah, but that's a really good one. Yeah, but this helps our mana and it's a ramp card. I'm taking this. That card seems better. Oh, Dragon Skull Summit. I'm going to take it over a Johnny. I think a Johnny is obviously the better card, but uh, we're not playing white, and we can get away with that. So, Plus, we can also... We can cut the Sacred Foundry, but it does... Flooded Strand can search for Sacred Foundry, which is nice. Devoted Druid. Yeah, well, we can just play a Mountain over Sacred Foundry. Yeah, that's a good point. No, but you play the strand can't search for a mountain. Oh, then play it. <clears throat> All these last pick green cards are pretty good. Drop your draft and drop some dollars for your favorite flavored crust pizza. Wow. Hungry Howie Bot, you are you are coming hard with the hungry Howie-ness. Take out Mast Admirers. Three cuts. I have a feeling it's one of these three cards. One of these four cards, I guess. Probably Explore. I always feel like it's Explore. I'm on a second one. Maybe we don't cut, just cut Nest Invader. Yeah, Nest Invader's pretty meh. And one more card. Fallen cord. I'd rather cut Azor's Gateway. Oh, sure. <coughs> I 
I think it's Sprawl. Is there a Sprawl in our deck? I don't think so. I don't think we have any cards with Sprawl in the name. Tooth and Nail's ambitious? Why? Look at all the cards we can put into play. Even putting just a Jason to play is fine. I think all of our creatures are good. I don't think it has to be like some super like... Even if it's just a tutor for seven man, I think that's cool. I think you saw Fertile in Ground. <laughs> so... Look at all these lands I'm putting in. I think you do play the Foundry. So Foundry can be gotten by... Flooded, flooded Strand? Yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> What was our other fetch land? It's calling turn. Well, I can just get a mountain. Mine's time thrall. I get it. You don't like druid. I think it's fine. Like being able to ramp to five, even if two of it's green, is still just very good. So, like if we can go turn two druid, turn three Karanos, Vraska, or Sarkon, it's really good. All right, let's do one of these jobbies. All right, I'm just going to clip this real quick so I can examine it while we look at our mana base. Okay. And we're probably going to make this real complicated. So. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. White, blue, <coughs> black, red, green. So how many how many white sources do Oh we actually don't we're not playing white, so that can go. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, five blue sources. And blue is like our our heaviest color. So we're probably gonna add like five five islands. Which is a lot. We actually probably don't need basics of any other color. That's pretty ridiculous. These are our basics. All right, so black sources. We have one, two, three. Flooded Strand, can you get... What can you get? Flooded Strand can't get a black source. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Can Tarn... Yes, Tarn can get Blood Crypt. Four, four black sources in the sideboard. Money. I did a money sign instead. Uh, all right, red sources. We have one, two, Flooded Strand, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we need zero mountains. And green, we have one, two, Sacred Foundry. Scalding Tarn can get Shivan Reef. Or uh, Stomping Ground. Unfortunately, Flooded Strand can't get anything here. So we have one, two, three, four. No, five. Five sources of green. Okay. Uh, and we have eight green sources. All right, so what we're going to do... We can also cut a red source because we have so many. Red, all the red sources <clears throat> double as other colors, though. Oh, yeah, true. So... Um, this puts us at nine blue. Four black, one green. Four, five, six. Our black we only have... We don't have any double black. We have double black for Grave Titan, I guess. We also have Chromatic Lantern, which we didn't count. We have Fertile Ground, which are also helpful. I guess we can actually go to three here. I was putting up a lot of heavy blue in here. Um, but I don't think we actually need that many blue. So this puts up this, this is seven green sources, nine red sources, five black sources, and eight blue sources. Seems okay. I think that's fine. All right. Either way, we'll have some fun with this deck. I do want to clip my mana base, though, so I don't mess up and try to search for something that I can't get. All right, got mana base on deck. Cool. That was a good
good milkshake. I don't, I don't understand how you can drink milkshakes that quickly. You're basically like a milkshake monster. <laughs> milkshake monster. It's actually fine. Keep. Go stomping ground into search. What does that mean? What does it say? Frank snipped? I don't know what that means. I don't get it. Oh, you're probably... Are you watching the stream? And then you started the... What? I was going to say I don't get it. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Strange. I don't think he's... No, I don't think someone's going to say good luck, man, big fan. Also, people... So here's a funny thing about language, right? Um, people who say man are usually pretty chill. You know, like if you're going to say, hey, good luck, man. Like, you're usually a pretty chill dude. And I think that's uh, indicative of someone who actually wouldn't snipe. But, you know, I could be wrong, of course. But, you know, considering they mentioned it and said was just in chat, like, I have, I feel like they'll, they're probably going to be a little more. Didn't see opener. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. I'm just gonna fertile it ground here. <clears throat> get on you. Get, 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 get some water. Yeah, you gotta get all that milkshake out of your throat. Yeah. All right. Good luck to you. Hats off to you. Say man all the time. Snipe streams is the perfect crime. Oh dang it! You're gonna take my 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 spell skite. Boom, boom, ba boom, ba boom, 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 ba boom, ba da ba da ba da ba That was a good draw. I mean, sure, he could still be watching. I mean, what? there's no point, though. Like, I, I think there are definitely honest people out there who aren't going to stream snipe. Because, honestly, what do you get out of it? What's going on with Mike's pants? Oh, no. That's so sad. Definitely just want an island here. Oh, hello. Uh, yes, we'll do that. Sure. Don't have anything good going on for us, but I'll still cast it. <clears throat> and we'll just go to the next turn. Give me a four mana planeswalker. Eh, that'll do. Cycling. Definitely cycling one blue. Yeah, definitely. If we had a another land in hand, I'd be okay with that, but... Just cycling. Uh, 
crypts, sheltered thicket. Do we have a double? We do have double blues, but this fer fer fertile ground is so good. We're just going to call it fertile ground forever now. You know it, baby. Do I? Any land in this, uh, this gets real exciting. Oh, we draw land. Are you? How do you always manage to do this? I don't understand. I don't know. Express care with your life, Michael. Let's do I'll this. Express care Bye. with my fist on your face. You'll express care with your fist on my face. Oh, I didn't... I don't know what to do there. I can't tell if they're really mad. I didn't know they have six their turn. I just thought they'd pass because they didn't have a land. That, I had no indication that they... They have six their turn. Because I was able to crack my fetch at the end of their turn? I, I don't know. That's weird. Because it's turn five. They missed a land drop. So, oh, they missed a land drop on the turn. Yeah. All right. Well, that's awkward. Staff him. Staff him and math him. That's not a thing. No one says that. Take her the sword. We could, but without any creatures, I'm not terribly afraid of it. Take her the sword. All time walks do exile. Especially, I'm really glad that time warp got in under the radar. Um, because it's nice to be able to torrential, not torrential gear hook, but snapcaster that card back in modern. Or just return it with Eternal Witness, like we did a few weeks ago on Modern. Which is pretty sweet. I don't think we're actually boarding anything yet. I have no idea what to bring in here. We already have Kolagon's Command and Hostage Taker in the main deck for things like Sword. Did you bogo, bogo ho on that Coke? Buy one, get one. Have... No, I, I just bogoed on this, actually. this These are, these are buy one, get one for the six packs of them. Smithers, what are these Rolling Stones booing at? What's Mike doing? No, wait, that's that's a different... I don't know. I just combined two Simpsons quotes <clears throat> together. Yeah, like we have a bunch of pulse answers. Pulse answer, pulse answer, pulse answer. Pulse answer, pulse answer. Lagum, thank you so much for the, for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. Or is it Legume? Le, it could be Legume. Legum? Could be Legum as well. I don't know. Feel free to advise on what the correct pronunciation is. Bogo is so much better than Bogo Ho. We are currently up a game, and this is game. This is round one of our cube draft. Did we submit? We submitted. What's tooth and nail for? Wouldn't Azor's gateway to the barrel? Uh, no. <laughs> you ever cast tooth and nail? Shoot. If I just tooth and nail for two titans, like that's real good. Yeah, that's pretty game winning. Plus, I can tooth and nail for a Karanos. Hostage Taker. Vizier of Many Faces. I could tooth and nail for a Devoted Druid if I want to. What 
What did Mind Stab Thrall say? There's a few recently that are in exile. There's the one creature that came out recently that goes back in your deck when you... Yeah, but I think all of the other ones exile themselves, right? Like, I don't think there's... I'm going to look it up right now. Extra turn. I'll look it up in the most recent sets. Everything in the past, like, ten sets. I'll go back to Theros. Uh, Gonti's Aetherheart. You can... Uh, that You pay eight energy and it exiles it. You exile Gonti's Aetherheart. Metamai the Ageless. Whenever you'll combat damage to a player, you can take an extra turn after this one. That guy does not exile himself, but it's also not a spell. So, so you can't attack during extra turns. So. Yeah, so you definitely can't play it the next turn. Part the Water Veil exiles itself. Um, I'll keep this hand. Uh, Sage of Hours. You have to remove infinite counters. Five counters per, so it's it's very difficult to repeat. Temporal Trespass exiles itself. Timestream Navigator, a creature you do put on the bottom of the library. Ugin's Nexus, exile it and take an extra turn. All the all the other all the cards that aren't creatures exile themselves. It's voted Druid. Ready? That's, that wasn't it. That's not a devoted Druid at all. Why did you not show up, devoted? Oh, well, you don't even have a green. Why do I want to devote a druid? Got a green, though. Living that green life. So now, Flooded Strand only gets an island, I believe. And Scalding Tarn gets an island or just an island as well. Stomping Ground. It'll get a Stomping Ground. Or a Sheltered Thicket. Well, that guy's scary. No, we can kill it. We can kill it. You're right. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Look with your special eyes. I guess we just kill it and make them discard, right? Seems good. All right. I gotta go to the bathroom again? Sign about. Yeah, all the old ones don't repeat. I think the, the new ones, they repeat, though, right? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying the new ones all repeat. Oh, that was a good draw. We can just play this and next turn play either Karanos or Vraska to get rid of the Bloodline Keeper. Probably Karanos. Did you make a time walk when you go back to the past so you must return a land you control to your hand and put it on top of your deck? Ugh. Maybe that's actually not terrible. Okay. <laughs> uh. Excuse me? Look at you. You did the meme. Hooray. So I, I, I assume I assume that our opponent was actually not super mad at us. He was just joking around. Okay. I, he got, I thought he got real mad for a minute. I was like, oh no, I didn't mean to do anything. Okay, that's a scary card. Good lord. Might just have to rascal. That's sexy lady um i guess okay, you're searching that for that i didn't know what to, i didn't know what to say i was like oh that's a terrifying thing yeah i probably have to kill that she gotta go you ain't welcome here no more one two and the Vraska. i look in frank pioneers the english language you and me both buddy you and me both I am a pioneer of 
the English language. So this, we could have also Vizier'd of many faces her. I will copy. Also, one more turn and we can uh, just tooth him now. That's pretty good. Even if you're just drawing two in turn, like a two Titans, that's still really good, right? Yeah. Two cards in hand. Oh god, don't be Elspeth. That's actually okay. Oh, that's actually great because Karanos is indestructible. Uh huh. Raging Green. We already have Raging Green. I'm not going to draw that. You got me beat. I don't. I don't think so. But maybe. This guy. Who even knows? I'm going to use the restroom after this match. You guys are just going to have to deal with it. Because that's life. Life is just people going to the bathroom and you having to deal with it. I would love to put this Temporal Master on top of my library. Can I do that? If you believe. Okay. Good to know. She's not a demon. She's not a dragon. She's a Gorgon. You heard it here first, folks. Give me a spell so I can shoot your bloodline and keep her down to the ground. One dead bloodline keeper. Oh, oh, oh. That's the count from, uh... <laughs> That's the count from Sesame Street. I don't know if you guys, uh... If you guys That's the count from the street. If you... <laughs> wow, the count from the street. I don't know if you guys have seen count Sesame Street before, street. but, uh, it's, uh... It's a good show. Go hard in the front. I'm sorry, what? I feel like we should attack with this when they have Oblivion Stone in play. Can they get your land though? No, it's non-land permanent. Destroy each non-land permanent with a faith count without a faith counter on it. No. Oh. Temporal Mastery is seven, so we can't new turn until next turn, Mr. Tasty. Life is just people going to the bathroom and you having to deal with it. That is not incorrect. You know, Frank, I like that you keyboard instead of only click. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh-oh. Oh, they're going to pop it, but... Oh, this guy... Oh, they're going to put a fake counter on their thing. Okay. I was like, oh no, this is not going to end the way the way it's supposed to end. What are we going to hit? Go for the... Just gonna keep on... Keep on rolling with this guy. So we do five this turn and six next turn. And then one Karanos will seal the deal. Oof. Spells for days. Raging. Arlen Cord could pump, but then they're just they're just gonna blow the O stone. <laughs> 
drunk F. Nice. Oh, good times. Pa pow. All right, sweet. My God. There was a clip and then that the epic. epic. <laughs> oh, good times. chat there's a lot i think this deck seems good we did win it's not like you said but did it win i think you know it did because that's not what you said so yes You've been live for just over three hours. By this point in your broadcast, you should have consumed at least eight slices of Hungry Howie's flavored crust pizza to maintain optimum nutrition. Wow. That's Four slices amazing. per hour, huh? I don't know if I keep up with that. I will play first. I wish we had a second blue, but I think this is still very keepable. What do we get with this bad boy? Just an island? Yeah. I don't think we have any blue dual lands, awkwardly no. enough. We did not. We did not. Man, this Hungry Howie's emoticon is getting a ton of use. <laughs> what up, Amped? Amped, was that you? Did I just play against you, dude? Oh, that's another blue. We're going to play anything here, so maybe we just play Shelter Ticket. Dude, I thought that was you. It was Legendary Amp. I was like, huh, interesting. <laughs> that's hilarious. I don't know what to play here, though. I kind of want to get this out of my hand, but I also have enough lands that I could probably just cycle this. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, I officially accept your request for a rematch, good sir. Oh, I just played the land that doesn't let me disallow next turn. I'm actually terrible at this game. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're really bad. I'm so bad, dude. Look how distracted I got by the chat there. I was like, let me keep talking to you guys and I'll play this land. Blah, 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 blah. That's why you don't talk and, this why you don't talk and, and play. I was just trying to play Thunderbreak region, bro. You still could have done that if you played correctly. Well, I still can now. Oh, you mean, yeah. I definitely could have. Flooded Grove off the top would be just fine, though. Right? That would that would change everything, right? Um, yeah. That'd be pretty good. Come on, Flooded Grove me one time. Get rewarded. Let me get... Let me get... The reward we deserve here. You deserve nothing. It's not bad. No. That's a decent draw. Mike's rocking back and forth like he's caught the autism. <laughs> he's very acoustic, so what are you going to do? You doing alright? Yeah, man, I got me a fresh haircut. Everything's looking good. If this is a Sesame Street stream, your next land will be a flooded grover instead. Oh, that would be great. Got a nice straight razor shave. How many faces? Ha, ha, ha. One. Ha, ha, ha. Just one. Ha, ha, ha. This is a little count meme. I'm terrible. I hate you. you know, it's kind of cool getting straight ready to say, but at the same time, I'm like, well, I hope it doesn't kill me. Yeah, there's <laughs> definitely the, the risk, the threat of death there. <sighs> we 
By the way, I got our mail and there was like a uh, a brown envelope for you. Oh, I bet it's a time warp. I, I purchased one time warp from the internet to complete my time warp collection. Oh. Burp, 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 burp. I keep looking at Mike and thinking I wish he was wearing a cowboy hat. I think we can arrange that. A cowboy hat? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay, so you're saying a flooded cookie monster adds a, a thin mint and a Samoa to your pool? Because that's real good. Wow, Those look at all the these two best ones. Terminal Bloodman, how much longer will we be on? Until the end of this draft, at least. That's for sure. But it's 1.30, so probably after this draft. Because this is a second round, so we probably got another hour and a half or so. This is a lot of mana guys that we have here. Can I get a Wrath of God? I couldn't. I couldn't get that. That's not even on our deck. That's why I couldn't get it. Hmm. Nailed it. Oh, what about just a cowboy hat? Just think about that. Oh, wow. Um, not Get, so much. Getting a little sassy, huh? You say Thin Man, I think of the Monty Python skit where the ginormous guy is in the fancy restaurant and orders... Yep, that guy's getting... God, I really want to... Really I really want to just cast it, but... Ooh, they didn't attack with their elf, of, their elf of Deep Shadow. Okay, this is enough lands. Oh, actually, we can cycle this guy and feel okay about things. It's going to be an Inferno Titan. Staff of Nin. That's actually pretty good against them. We can shoot him. Oh, you did that instead. Yeah, this costs six. After cycling my sheltered thicket. Well, I wasn't sure if I wanted to cycle yet. I was just waiting to cycle. There was no stip. We just drafted fun cards. Oof. That's a good one. Mike doesn't think that's a good one. Nope. I want to see Mike in cosplay and barf from Spaceballs. Frank can also dress up as Lord Helmet. That'd be great. Can I just dress up as, uh, who, what's his, what's, what's Bill Paxton's name in that movie as Han Solo? Oh, yes. Yes. That's a good trade. Chandra for, uh, for uh, that guy. Lone Star. That's right. That is a correct. Did I say Bill Paxton? I meant Bill Pullman. You're right. Who's Bill Paxton? Oh, Bill Paxton is... Didn't Bill Paxton and Bill Pullman both die? I don't know about Pullman and Paxton, yeah. Okay, Bill Pullman is not dead. He's 64 years old. Wow, he's looking old. He's looking rough. Remember this young, remember this young I Independence Day Bill? He was the president, yeah. yeah. <laughs> is he coming back for the remake? The remake of Independence Day? Yeah. I don't know. Does that happen already? Paxton was also in Aliens. He was, game over, man. Game over. That's. I think that's where Paxton is probably most known from. And in Twister, that is correct. Oh, God. I will vizier whatever this is. I will not vizier that. That is unfortunate. Seven, huh? That's a lot. On the bright side, if you negative six her, I can kill her. Oh, he was in the new Independence Day. All 
All right, so we're going to actually attack with this guy and shoot, I think. Well, there's a lot of lands we're drawing here. So, red, green... Paradise, attack your nizzles, nizzles. Always look on the bright side of life. Ba -do 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 -do. I think we can actually shoot the the DP. The what? The DP. The DP. Yeah, you know, you know, old DP. Old elf of DP. Probably gonna also cut. Uh, God, I was gonna say cut. Probably gonna also crack flooded strand just to thin our deck a little bit. Do you? This clip is a minute long, but I feel like because the title is Homer, Bill Paxton, and Bill Pullman reference, it's probably exactly what I just did. Let's find out. Well, I don't want to... I think I'll actually probably get demonetized if I let a minute Simpson clip clip play because it's probably just going to be like, sorry, this is trademark of Fox Entertainment. And I'll be like, I understand. So they had Nissan 7 and they didn't hit anything... Uh, they didn't hit a land or creature that costs 7 or less. We definitely already played a minute long Simpsons clip before. A minute long Simpsons clip? I don't yeah. think so. Oh, it was probably a search tomorrow on top of the library. All right, that's good to know. That one where he's wading through the water? That was like 15 seconds. I think 30 seconds is the point of uh, demonetization. Oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, this sure is awkward, isn't it? I mean, it's actually not terrible, right? Like, they go to one land, and we have a lot more. One, two, three, four, five. Like, we actually have three three mana and a staff of Nin. Seems good. How come Vizier can't copy the oh, land? Tooth and nail. <laughs> Awkward. Wow, one turn sooner and we could have actually tooth and nailed uh, and gotten two, two titans. Which, as you can imagine, would be pretty, pretty solid. Oh, they do have search and... Yeah, but they're, they're going to have Nissa go up to six. We're going to shoot it once and attack it for five. So that should kill that. Are you doing it again? Huh? Are you living that that open mouth ice life? Uh huh. God, you're so weird. Just stop being weird. That's Never. All. Okay, well, I tried. You gotta get those views, boy. You think that's what's getting them? Mm hmm. All right, that's also a great option. However, I think it's more likely that Vraska gets countered than they have an answer for attacking. No, are they going to bounce it? Right, that's what I mean. Always look on the Nissa side of life. I do like that they scribe too, and then they got a search from our own unsuspending. Yeah, I feel like we're in better shape here. They have two lands, we have five mana and a staff. I feel like that's okay. Is Mike related to Frank? Mike is not related to Frank in any way. Uh, so far, I'm your dad. Except for that he's my father. Other than that, utterly no connection. <clears throat> I'm tempted to just play Vraska next turn and then just start ultimating her. Or start plussing her so we can ultimate. 
I don't think we've played a card that was as good for us as that destructive force. That sounds almost correct. That's a good one. Hmm. I mean, we're just going to murder it. Polygon's command. That seems good. Murder. Scalding Tarn. Right. Do we just Vizier and go for the throat? That seems good, right? I'm going to pay two blue, though, because I feel like that's probably better for us. Mike is a clone of Frank that was altered by science. He's basically the X-23 to Mike's... Wow, that was a... I like your X-23 reference there. I'm gonna Solid. Play, I'm going to play Tarn and then crack it to try to get a different card because we never want Fertilid, Fertilid Gourd. Um, Grave Titan on the top, huh? I guess we get to see what they draw, right? So we'll just pass. Unfortunately, you draw Harmonize. I think I'll just play Harmonize on your turn. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana, so if we hit, like, Runner, Runner, we can Tooth and Nail. Like X-23, Michael also has knives in his feet. Uh, it's true. Yeah, but he doesn't like telling people that. You know, that whole escape from the government thing. Alright, so Forest. I assume we're going to play Harmonize. And you did. I will shoot you in the face and F6. Are you always looking on the bright side of life? No. <laughs> well, you should. That is a spell skeet day. Spell skeet day! We get to draw that guy. That is not a land either. We actually have no lands. Oracle of Moldaya and play with no lands. I will play Spellskite and Vraska though. Lightning Bolt? But my Spellskite. Fine. Pretty sneaky, sis. One, two, three, four, five. Vraska the Unseen. Don't even look. Don't look. She's unseen. Play Vraska over Grave Titan? F forgot we had the Grave Titan. Oh. Okay. I was actually thinking that we were going to Tooth and Nail it into play, so I was like, well, we can't cast Tooth and Nail, so we can't play Grave Titan. <laughs> it, was, uh, it wasn't my finest moment, but it was a moment nonetheless, so... And, all right, we did it. The sideboards, when you have, like, the 17 land decks, are super weird because you never have a lot of cards. And by 17 land decks, I mean the decks where you draft a ton of lands, a ton of fixing lands. Here we go. What was the thing you said earlier? About Willie's barbecue, Willie's barbecue sauce or something? <laughs> Was that what you said or did you just repeat what I, I said? Right? Willie's barbecue sauce. No, I don't no. know what I said, I forget. I mean, we have clips right here, right? Oh, it was Wet Willie's Barbecue Sauce. Oh, yeah. Wet Willie's Barbecue Sauce. You guys brought this on yourselves, you know. Press F to pay respects to opponent. <laughs> oh, boy. I feel like siding into Geist wouldn't be that terrible, to be quite honest. We don't have many ways to search for it, though. I think we just have Flooded Strand and Scalding Tarn and Sacred Foundry. Yeah, we have to ruin our whole mana base for it, so... Probably not I guess good. we could do turn two fertile ground as well, but 
Siege? Is Siege any good? I don't know. I don't feel like we were actually wanting for anything in that match is really the thing. We didn't want nothing. We were having a good time. Shadows, have a good night, buddy. Good night. Turn to Fertilid Ground. That is a play. Fertilid, Fertilid. My god. I like this hand a lot. Mr. Tasty with the two months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I will keep. Give me a blue mana so we can Jace Friend's Prodigy. That's not a blue mana. This is not a blue boy. <laughs> Don't call it a blue boy. Why not? Because no one likes that. Just stop it. I like it. Do you? No. Always look on the bright side of life. I need you to always look on it. That's not a blue boy either. I got a spell skite. Hey, spell skite. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like that? Really? What? Was it the hand that I was nice doing? Nice Phantom Menace reference. <laughs> was it what? It's a nice Phantom Menace reference. Oh, because I was doing... Uh, Bulbasaur, yeah. Bulbasaur. Actually, Sebulba is Sebulba, not... Sebulba, not Bulbasaur. But that's... <laughs> Bulbasaur is a But that's Pokemon. not his name either. That's Sebulba is the guy he's talking to. Watto is the guy who does that voice. Ooh. Hey, Sebulba! Yeah, that guy. Yeah, it's the greatest scene in that movie. Now we're pod racing? No, Jabba the Hutt flicks a frog off of a cliff. There's like a little frog thing and he flicks well, it off. I guess it had to be some scene, huh? It's not a great movie, but that scene's pretty funny. Can I redirect Nissa to myself? I might just path. I might just Maelstrom Pulse that. I wish it was a two so I could Coligon's command it. It will be if you believe. No, it won't. Yeah, sure. No, it won't. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Touche. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, that's a good draw. That is a good draw. Well, I like it because we can mail some pulse now, and then next turn we can play Lantern and keep up either Jace or Essence Scatter. I would like you to click on that link. Oh, my God. Frank's face when he's winning a lot on stream. Why are you the way that you are, dude? Why? It's always that clip. Oh my god. I think it's just pulse this, right? But then what if they play some... Eh, they're only a four mana. Whatever. This is where they have the Jason Line Sculpture and we cry. I would cry. Attack with Spell Sky. Send him... The message is that I want to take two damage on my turn, I think. It's a great message. It's not. It is not... Okay, well that's fine. That's just fine. Oh, we have Colagon's command too, so we can make them. We can kill that and make them discard something. Oh boy. Oh Billy. Okay, that's not appropriate. <laughs> it's really. It's, it makes you're you're just real weird. Do we just Jace here? Yes. No, I keep a best in scatter, right? We can Jace next turn and keep up Colagon's command and best in scatter. I'm not taking down my essence scatter shield. My essence scatter shields. Here we go. Play primeval titan. No. I was afraid of F six there because it didn't let me respond. And I was like, mm mm. Oh, they have two cards in hand, so we can actually kill Simic Signet and. This is going to be real good. And make them discard one of the two cards in their hand. And play Jace. Black. Red. Pew. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Hey. 
They have one card, and we have an onboard Jasons. Are there any resources you can point me toward to help sharpen my limited play? Um, draft a lot of moto. That's an that's an expensive. Um, no, redirect. This is basically like them shooting us and us taking one less. It's pretty good. I wonder if they forgot about this. Yeah, I agree. There's a, there's definitely a, there's definitely a benefit to watching drafts, either even if you watch the same person, and seeing what they're doing that is working. See what misclick what a jewelist experience this has been. Oh, that's unfortunate. That didn't seem like a misclick though. Have you tried getting good, Scrub? Wow. Wow. Great. Ben Stark, I've noticed, is pretty good at explaining why he makes certain picks. Ben is great. Yeah, if you if you can watch Ben Ben Stark videos, do that. Um, Isn't that guy, like, number one limited resource, or number one limited player? He's definitely up there, yeah. And my claim to fame is uh, beating Ben Stark in the semifinals of a, an old school PTQ, like, ten years ago. I remember the day I beat old Benny. I didn't play the 04 and win. I played the 02 and won. <laughs> but yes. Yes, I did. Hey, man. Yeah, man. You didn't finish your purple. Didn't I, though? No. But didn't I? Just mix it in with your Coke. Oh, Arjuna is also currently double queuing in Modern Cube Phantom Swiss Draft League match. What can you do that? I didn't even know you could do that. I'll keep this hand. Ba boom boom boom. This hand is great. It does everything. We can even take some names, take some hostages. Ben Stark remembers. <laughs> play this in case they want to in case we want to go for the threat something oh nothing fertilid ground ladies and gentlemen fertilid turtlid no michael one two three four five six Look at that beautiful chicken. He's got wings of gold. Why is he so weird? I don't understand. He's got wings of gold. One, two, three, four, five, six. That guy's actually really hard for us to beat. We just hostage take her and cast it, right? Yeah, outside of that, though. I mean, we could also go for the throat and maelstrom pulse it. That seems terrible. Does it, though? Yes. Does it? Yes. Don't even, don't, don't even do it. See, that seems annoying. Oh, a rootbound Karagaruski. I did go Pepperidge Farm. That's actually pretty funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we'll take it. We're gonna maelstrom pulse this Liliana. Uh, black, green. We can maelstrom maelstrom pulse their fertile in ground and uh, kill our own. So one turn, next turn we can go Hostage Taker, play their Rekindling Phoenix, and the turn after that we can go Tooth and Nail if we draw land, putting two Titans into play. That seems good. Did you guys just say Battle of the Fur Furled Grounds and Battle of the Turtled Grounds at the same time? Because that's absolutely hilarious. Oh 
I'm getting real tired of these planeswalkers, man. Pretty sure I just killed that. Ooh, I like Osh Taker into Spell Sky. Well, we're going to play this. Yeah, do that too. <laughs> That's my chicken. Don't touch my chicken. I want Game of Thrones. Yeah, okay. Saw that. Kill the Phoenix, kill the token. That was huge. Yeah, I was like, I was thinking that actually. That is an option. We go for the throat, the chicken, and then we hostage take her the token. I like this better though, especially if you draw land. Boy. Oh god, they're going to do something broken here. That's pretty good, but it's only seven. So they're going right into the hand. Brass monkey. That funky monkey. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, it's eight. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's bad. Oh, this is just terrible. And we died. That was amazing. I thought we were doing well. We were until we died. That, that is true. And we would have drawn our land for tooth and nail. That is, uh, that is something. I don't think we're sideboarding anything. All right. Uh, did I miss anything? Anything Anything exciting happened in chat? No. Nothing exciting? Uh... Submit. Body double's nice because we can copy a chicken. Do we exile? Does it exile the card? I think it just copies it, right? Just copies it. Keep this hand. Got your fertile at ground. Can we go with this? Sacred Foundry? No. Just the island? Yeah, we'll just get an island. With five lands in hand, I don't really want to be hitting, so. I forgot that was even in here. So many fertile grounds. Oh my god. Well, if they play Garrick, we can attack it with a creeping tarpit. No, they're not going to do that. Den Protectario. Oh, yes. One, two, three, four. We'll go to five. We'll play. Maybe just wait to cast that, actually. Doesn't do too much for us. Right now? Yeah. I mean, it gives us... Well, we'll be able to play Raska, right? I mean, we can still do that anyway, because we have four lands. Oh. Then, yeah, maybe don't cast it. Alright, so black green. I guess we just have to play stomping ground untapped. Let me just kill Den Protector. Oh, Rattleclaw Mystic. That's better. I like that. Mike, how sleep are you scale from one to Snorlax? Half a Snorlax. 
Really? Oh, they're going to redirect to Frasca? Jeez, Louise. Yeah, that's really good. Half a Snorlax? Mm hmm. Only half. What are they a real Terastodon? That's pretty good. Uh, I guess we gotta play this and get an island if we need to. Eternal Witness. Eternal Witness. Doesn't seem great here. What do I rate myself as a drafter and a player? That's a good question. Um, I think I'm above average, but I'm not really, uh, I don't really toot my horn. Oh, that's annoying. Jeez, man. I could have been some stupid creature. I don't know. No, sir. I don't like it. Um, I like having... We want double blue, so... So we can kill Chandra here. I mean, we think we can. It's really just lightning bolt. Yeah, that would be pretty good. I would cry. Yep. <laughs> this is sad. I want to cry. I cried. That nah, was pretty rough. I think we're in just bad shape here. They're just playing better cards than us. We brought a Nesson Scatter to a Planeswalker fight. True. Deck was still fun. I think it performed very well in the first two rounds. So. No, sir. I don't like you. That's a good dude. Solid gentleman. Oof. That's good to know. You look a gopher. I don't even know what to attack here. Yeah, that's a good question. I'll go with Chandra. I think she's a bigger threat. I will assume any card from your deck is stronger than... Alright. Nothing but a Temporal Mastery in the hand. And play that next turn. I agree. Oh, I like this. Nope. Yes. It's a fair trade. Oh, a little beastie.
Pretty good, pretty good. Can we get a Titan of some sort? <laughs> Thanks. Preach. Yep, that was a pretty good draw. Let me shoot the risk car. I think I'm more tempted to attack uh, Garrick and then kill the 4-4 four four when they block. Yeah. So now we can go 1 to the 4-4 four four, to Garrick. Can't even see. Would you like to see this? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I can't even see how many that is. That's amazing. Oh, boy. UIOP. You, 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 yeah, UI. I don't know why. I was like, oh, you, 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 you. Six, seven, they have eight mana right now. Thankfully, they, tooth, they exiled their tooth and nail, so. Oh, are they attacking with this guy? Never blocking. Never in a million years. So, presumably you have a three, man, three damage spell in your hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is a three damage spell. You negative six? Wow. I really wish we had, like, a Raging Ravine. Yeah, me too. Me too. You're getting so broken. Yep, it's pretty good. Goblin Rabble Master is not terrible either. You just have infinite gas. Yeah, it's pretty sad. All the fertile grounds have left. Sad thing is we can't even block a goblin without it just dying to Ugin, so. Oh, I guess you're gonna. I guess we're at five, so we're basically dead. Yeah, if they just attack with a raging green. What? No? <laughs> okay, there you go. You figured it out. Yep. Yeah, so either yeah, we're dead. Alright. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. This match was pretty fine. I, I thought the deck was super fun, and uh, unfortunately, just didn't draw enough castable things in the last game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.